Jesus Lost Thoughts today. I just wanted to pop in and say hello to everybody. It's been about a week, maybe a little couple more days since I've seen you guys. It's not a try on today, although I do have on a beautiful dress from Shein that I purchased. I am in love with this particular print because it reminds me of the Flintstones. <laughs> But today we're not doing a try on. We are doing um just uh I seen the get to know me tag. So just kind of questions about me, uh, those who may not know me very well, those who may be new subscribers and may not know me from other social media platforms or real life. Just kind of some Q&A, some frequently asked questions just to get to know me better as a person. And definitely if there's anything that you relate to or that resonates with you, please drop me a comment below and just let me know that you're weird and awkward like I am because that's what it's all about. <laughs> being weird awkward and proud of it like I am um I'm all about my whole brain everything I talk about is just staying true to yourself authenticity being who you are being happy with who you are um and I my personality is a little quirky I'm a little silly I'm all those things um but it's genuinely who I am it was previously definitely a coping mechanism when I was younger to deal with trauma and different things I always joked around tried to be a class clown and all that kind of stuff but as I got older it's just like I am like a person who likes to joke and likes to keep it fun and lighthearted because life can be difficult at times and we have to make sure that we are not taking everything to the point where it's like oh it's bringing me down like no like you gotta know that things will always get better you can always move forward you can always have more be more do more so there's no need to be down and out when there's always further steps that you can go more that you can accomplish and who you are already is already enough so definitely no reason to be down uh we will get through every every dog day we will get through it together um and it will pass so that's my motto in life and that is who i am but we're gonna get into some frequently asked questions some q a the get to know me um today so i have about it's not 21 questions y'all <laughs> i talk too much for 21 questions <laughs> but it is a, it's a few questions here just to help you guys get to know me better and uh, we're gonna dive into them right now so the first question is where do you currently live um i am actually i, I mentioned in a few videos of how this is going to be my first winter in georgia i am from louisiana born and raised uh First part of my life, um, you know, like grade school, growing up, high school, that was all in North Louisiana. Then when I went to college, I went to South Louisiana. So I spent the last half of my life in South Louisiana. And I've just recently moved to Georgia. So I'm going to get to probably experience a little bit of real winter. You know, not like Minnesota winter, but like <laughs> North Southern winter. <laughs> because in South Louisiana, like it's... It's like you wear shorts in December and it's not a thing. Like, <laughs> So I'm going to actually get to experience wearing a coat for like several months at a time. But those who know me are probably laughing because I'm very cold natured. So I bring my coat out in about October anyway. And my coat doesn't go up to like March or April. <laughs> <laughs> but I am in Georgia now and I'm going to get to experience a nice Georgia winter. Hopefully we will get some snow and I'll get the whole experience here. But I like it here. I've been here probably about five to six months and I really love it. I'm very glad that um this is my destination. I will definitely see what life brings out here. Seem to be some great people, a lot to do, um, a lot to, a lot to eat. <laughs> Um, just so much to experience. So I have been loving my time out here thus far. The next question is dogs or cats. Now this is really interesting because I have never had a pet. It's like, <gasps> shocker. Wow. <laughs> I have never had a pet in my entire life. Um, but I really like dogs and cats. Once I get a house, most every apartment that I've had has had uh, no pets allowed. So that sucks. Um, <laughs> but once I get a house, I would actually like a husky dog. And I would like a nice cat. Um, I know cats are sometimes not nice though. So we'll see about that one. But <laughs> they're so cute. So I definitely want one. Um, so I want one of each at least. I was also thinking about a rabbit. But somebody said like, I was reading it's like, they don't live long and sometimes they don't do well with the other animals so if anybody has a rabbit out there just kind of let me know how that goes and if you have other animals in the house because i need some more info on that because they're so cute and i want one um <laughs> anyway <laughs> next question about me is what is your favorite drink i am a 
weirdo because again from the south but i hate sweet tea but i love sweet tea and lemonade make that make sense if you possibly can like if there's any way for us to make that make sense please do it i hate sweet tea but when it's with lemonade i'm like ah uh, so everywhere i go i'm like arnold palmer me please <laughs> i need that in my life right now oh i absolutely love the sweet tea and lemonade my secondary choice would be sprite probably um that's probably what i grew up with or maybe what i would grab if you know you go to the family function whatever you got your coke sprite and you're something else <laughs> i would probably grab a sprite but when i'm going out to eat or out to dinner or whatever it's always sweet tea and lemonade for me so don't kick me out of the south because i don't like sweet tea i cannot stand unsweetened tea by yourself but once you put the lemonade in the sweetened tea life becomes livable so that's what it is and that's who I am <laughs> so that is my absolute favorite drink and what I usually go to anywhere I go um let's see you're wearing perfume what scent is it mm, interesting interesante um I do have some of my perfume over here but this is like my this is my favorite perfume probably because of the shape of it this is Carolina Herrera, good girl. I was going through like, I was in like a perfume phase or whatever. And I was like, oh my God, I have to get something new. I have to get something nice. And I think I got this about a year ago or something. And I have been in love with it ever since. Um, it's like a really, it makes you feel like a sassy adult. <laughs> like it really makes you feel like you're a woman and you're stepping out and all that kind of stuff. And it's just like a really adult sultry vibe. So I love this perfume absolutely it's like my favorite um if i'm like going anywhere special i'm definitely going to put that on um and it's really it kind of goes all year round it doesn't really like you know go out with the season or anything but um i love it absolutely and it just kind of has that makes you like perk up and just be like yes i am it this event i don't care whose event it is it's all about me now that i've walked in with the scent on okay <laughs> okay um what books have you read that have changed your life? I will say one particular book that I have read that I have changed my life. Um, of course, secular, non, you know, non-Christian book, but um, it's called The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. It's a very old book by the author named Joseph Murphy. I've read this book in 2018 when I was just kind of like going through a lot of craziness and just trying to find a way to get my life on a higher level. And I read this book and I was like, okay like it opened up so many things for me because i'm already a person of faith and i have um been like i was a minister for several years i've been kind of in church my entire life um but i was always a person of faith and deep faith but this kind of put the practicality onto the faith um it just kind of took it to like another level and i really loved it it's all about as we would say now manifestation um <laughs> But really about how to step out of our own way um, when we have had these thoughts in our mind. Things you've heard from the time that you're young. Things that you've heard from the time that you were born. And that's the narrative that you've heard your entire life that really gets into your subconscious mind. And it just becomes like a tape that's playing over and over for you. And you have to learn how to get in there and kind of undo that tape. Kind of rewind those things kind of rewrite that narrative over your life uh, from what was previously told to you you know you can't be this you can't be that you're from the wrong side of town you look this way you look that way um all those things are kind of stuck down in our spirit and in our subconscious mind and we just kind of like we say you know i want this i want that or i want to be this or i want to be that or i want to have this money or i want to have that money but that narrative is still playing in the back of your mind. And the book is all about just rewriting the narrative of your mind and how to let those thoughts sink in and how to just change your life through uh, affirmations and uh, positive sayings and just kind of rewriting that narrative of your life that people have told you what you can and cannot be, um, you know, what you can and cannot have, um, putting yourself at a certain level and locking yourself in there. So that book has been phenomenal in my life for just helping me to step up and I read it over and over. Sometimes I'll even like, I have it on Apple audiobooks. So sometimes I'll just play it throughout the night and just let it kind of like 
seep into my spirit <laughs> if I need a refresher. But I love it. The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy. Um, it's one of like, the all-time best uh, manifestation power of the mind books. So if you have not read it, definitely give it a try. Um, it's definitely worth a read. Uh, a read or two or five, okay? <laughs> Next is... Um, how would you describe your fashion sense? I don't know if I have like a, I don't know what my fashion sense is. Like my fashion sense has um, kind of transformed over the years, if you would say. Um, I don't know. Y'all tell me what my fashion sense is because I have no idea what my fashion sense is. I think my fashion sense will go by the event or the mood because like I can go outside in some yoga pants and like a t-shirt and I'm like bam like I'm it you know I got some Nikes on or you know I could go outside and like a little cute flirty dress like this or some jeans and a little whatever t-shirt like it doesn't matter to me and I'm feeling like you can't tell me anything <laughs> so I don't know what my fashion sense is but as y'all see me and kind of see me on social media different things like that y'all tell me what my fashion sense is okay because <laughs> I don't really know I don't have a word for it <laughs> so uh, what is your favorite movie? I would have to say my top two favorite movies. Um, old movie, Face Off, uh, with John Travolta and Nicolas Cage. I love that movie. I just fell in love with it. Oh, when it first came out many years ago. And I guess just like the act of them switching faces. <laughs> and, you know, good guy, bad guy scenario, all of that. I really love that movie. Additionally, I love Hitch with Will Smith. Um, I'm always the kind of person I'm really heavy into like personalities and learning about people's personalities and stuff like that seeing how people's mind work and you know what makes a person tick so that movie I just love because that was what he did you know he studied the people he seen you know what would make them fall in love and it was just like everything for me so I love that movie so much that's a movie I could watch over and over and over again uh, besides those two probably a lot of them but those are the two that stick out to me the most Hitch and face off love those two movies absolutely um let's see do you have any bad habits yes as y'all can see i do not have my nails done right now i'm a bad nail biter like i have to try to keep my nails done because i am a bad nail biter <laughs> i have been like that my entire life i've been a bad nail biter so uh there's something i try to make sure i keep my nails on so i don't bite them as much <laughs> because if they're not on it's a problem <laughs> so that's one of my bad habits definitely I don't really have a lot of other bad habits per se um that's pretty much the worst one awkward um <laughs> okay what is your favorite Netflix show my favorite show of all time is Criminal Minds like that is my show like I don't know why like I don't know what deep dark part of my soul just kind of like connects with this show but I absolutely love Criminal Minds I love any kind of like documentary about serial killers like I'm into it like I'm diving into it I'm just like getting lost just give me the popcorn that's what I'm all about <laughs> so um Netflix I always keep that on my um it's always on my watching now or continue watching on Netflix because I'm always watching Criminal Minds I'm always watching it. I just start over at the beginning and watch again. Oh, I want to skip forward two seasons and watch again. Doesn't matter. My favorite show all the time. So I absolutely love it. One day we're going to figure out. Again, I think it goes back to the personalities, how they study the personalities, how they um, kind of figure out what makes the unsub tick and what's the unsub thinking. And like that is my entire vibe right there. <laughs> I'm all about personalities. So that is my all time favorite show. Um, hit me with some criminal minds q and a because i love it keep it coming <laughs> all right um your favorite ice cream that's an awkward question my favorite ice cream is probably cheesecake with my second favorite ice cream being mint chocolate chip yes the green ice cream with the chocolate chips in it i love it a lot of people hate it a lot of people i really did not know this many people in life had such a vendetta against mint i love mint I live for mint. I love mint chocolate chip. I love peppermint patties. <laughs> Anything mint flavored. Thin mints. I'm all about the mint life. But there's so many people that are like, ew, mint. Like, I don't know what's wrong with you and who hurt you as a child. But I'm sorry about that. Let's not take it out on mint, okay? Um, <laughs> but I love my mint chocolate chip ice cream. And I love cheesecake ice cream. 
love those too uh let's see we're almost down to the end of the list here my dream job as a kid was to be a pharmacist um that's actually when i first enrolled in college that's what i enrolled as but some kind of way in my um picking my classes for the first semester um, when I was getting advised for my first semester of college some kind of way I slipped through the cracks without getting in chemistry so I ended up moving my major when I realized it was too late and everything and we looked at my advising again and all that got a little bit down the road I'm like uh that's gonna put me like a semester behind because I need that chemistry blah 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 so I'm like okay psychology Bam! So that's what I ended up sticking out with. Um, that's what I ended up sticking with. And as you all know from everything else I've just said, I'm all about the personalities. <laughs> I'm all about the psychology. I'm all about the way the mind works. So I am glad that I went with that choice. However, had I stuck with my first choice, um, as a kid, I was always like mixing things and just weird things that didn't go together and just trying to like blow something up, tear something up. I don't know. Um, <laughs> That was me as a kid. So I definitely always kind of wanted to mix things. So pharmacy was good for me. Uh, when I entered into college, that was the first thing that I had on my mind. But I think my heart and my spirit really wanted psychology because I'm that type of person that likes to know how people think and to help people better themselves in their thinking and in their emotions. So there's that. Um, Coming down to the end, your celebrity crush, very easy. Zac Efron, I have no idea how old he is. I'm 38, but whatever. It's Zac Efron moving forward. No judgment. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you, okay? Um, <laughs> let's see. Do you have any weird quirks? We talked about that when I opened this video. I am goofy. I am nerdy. I am... My humor is sometimes highly inappropriate um, for the scenario. Like, I laugh at the wrong things at the wrong time, and it's not a good thing, but that's who I am. <coughs> um, Let me see. I may break out into song at any time. I may, like, be going through a normal situation in life, like preparing my lunch. And I may make up a song about preparing my lunch because that is the human that I am. So when you say, do you have any weird quirks? Yes, I have a lot. <laughs> then that is definitely one of them. I will break out in the song at any time and I will make up a song about anything whatsoever. <laughs> All right, last question. When was the last time you embarrassed yourself? We may have to do a part two to this because I got a lot of questions here. Um, but I'm I'm ending it with this. When was the last time I embarrassed myself? It was not too long ago, about a week or two ago. I went to be uh, with some ladies in the meetup group that I kind of do things with, and I went to the bathroom and like um, this is two being so we're out by the lake so it's a porta potty out there for you to go to so i'm in the porta potty with my backpack trying to like squeeze in there and hang my backpack up and uh, and do all of this <laughs> so i get out of the bathroom as quick as i can <laughs> and there's cops outside <laughs> and everybody's looking around like really nervous <laughs> so they're like is that your car and i'm like yes <laughs> And I'm like, you need to move and they just call the cops. <laughs> You're parked in the wrong area. You're parked where the people, where nobody can get out. Okay, yeah, I'm kind of embarrassed. Being that I was the only car parked over there, there was nobody else in that whole section. It was just me. I guess something should have clicked in my brain that said, don't park here. But I was like, we, nobody's parked on this side, even though there's a thousand people here. I'm going to park there. So. Again, quirky, and I do things my own way. <laughs> I guess they knew it was me because I had a Louisiana license plate. <laughs> and a lot of the ladies in the group know I'm from Louisiana. So that was awkward. That was weird. Um, and that was quite embarrassing. You trying to like rush into the bathroom, rush out of the bathroom. And when you come out, like the cops are like waiting on you, having a uh, talk with the manager of the tubing company about who's this idiot parked over there. So that's me. Um, and I'm proud of myself. <laughs> So that's it. I went through the questions probably, probably was somewhere around 17. Like I said, 
we weren't going to do the 21 questions, so about 17 or so questions just for me and you to get to know each other. If anything resonates with you, if anything reminds you of yourself or someone you know, just drop it in the comments. I definitely want to hear. I want to know that I'm not the only weird, quirky, nerdy um, person that breaks out in the song at random moments. I want to know that I'm not that only person. Like, there are some more of you guys out there. So, definitely share with me. Uh, let me know something about you. I would love to know a fun fact about you. And I'm so glad y'all joined me for this video. We will have more coming. Um, We'll have some more try-ons coming. We'll have some more just general weirdness, weird things that I may do at any time. Anything could happen. So, just stay tuned. Please like comment and subscribe so we can definitely keep you getting notifications about when I post a new video. I'm going to try to do a weekly video. I don't think I'm ready for the two video a week commitment yet, but <laughs> at least one video a week, I'm definitely going to come through and meet with you guys and just say what's up and make sure we're connecting. But you have a great day, morning, evening, night, wherever you are in the world. You guys have a great day and bye-bye.